how to make a narrow smile wider. I'm going to show you what I think is absolutely the best way to do it. Benlays. It's done with Benlays. They're better than porcelain veneers, better than crowns, better than braces, better than palatal splitters most of the time. I mean, this is treatment that is in quicker. It's more predictable. I can't tell you how many people I see that have had paddle palatal splitters that are unhappy. How about bicuspid extraction orthodontists where they take out four bicuspids and pull your upper teeth back and usually your jaw goes back with it and now you have a lousy facial profile. Well, he's had bicuspid extraction orthodontist and he doesn't like it. He wants a wider smile, but his main thing is, is he has to have facial hair because his chin is pushed back and he, he doesn't like that his chin is pushed back, so he uses facial hair to try to hide it. Basically, the widest smiles you know, they come with a healthy jaw position. So this starts with getting his jaw in the right position, which basically reverses bicuspid, the impact of bicuspid extraction. So here he is, he shaved his facial hair off. I didn't tell him to do that, he just did it. And now you're looking at his jaw, his lip, his teeth are no longer touching his lip. His jaw is in the position it was always meant to be. His airway is bigger. He breathes, he breathes better. He sleeps better. His health is better. Everything he does, he's chewing better. He's out of pain. I mean, this is a treatment that coordinates your jaw position to your jaw joints using jaw track. Jaw track is the key. If you don't have jaw track, you don't know where the jaw is supposed to be and you just guess. None of his teeth were drilled down. Think about that. None of his teeth were drilled down. No jaw surgery, no drilling down his teeth. So here he is before and you say, gee, that's not a bad smile. I agree. Um, the bicuspid ortho uh, extraction orthodontics pulled his teeth back. That's the problem. His chin is back. That's the problem. And so now you see he's got a good chin. He doesn't need facial hair to hide it and disguise it. He's breathing better. He has a wider smile. Now his teeth can support his face. He's going to look younger than everybody else his age. Why? Because he's got the jaw position he's already meant to have, and he's going to have facial support that most nobody else has. And so we're going to reverse the, the impact I call it the impact of bicuspid extraction. I don't want to try to move the teeth out and get the spaces back and do all these, put implants in and all of that. It takes forever. And a lot of times you kind of look a little funny because all the teeth are flared. So the bottom line is we are able to reverse the impact of bicuspid extraction without doing all of that. It's done in five weeks. I need two four day visits. So here he is before again, here he is with his facial hair, his teeth are touching his lower lip, he doesn't breathe as well, his jaws push back, his airway is smaller, he doesn't speak quite as well, that's one of the reasons why he comes in, because he has to speak quite often, and now he has the jaw position he's supposed to have, he has the better airway, he has his chin in the right position, his teeth are off the lip, he has facial support, here he is with the, I mean, come on, I mean, this is how you get the widest smile possible. Porcelain veneers can't do that.